Tes mini. Oh ya, yeah, IAP ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. his test ya. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Alright. Uh, okay, Miss Adisa. Uh, before we start our class, can you tell me a little bit about you? And uh, yeah, I need to know about how do you assess your English? What do you think about your English skills and your target score? <clears throat> Okay. Uh, okay. My name is Anissa Alifia, and as you know, uh, I'm a sister of Raihan, mm -hmm. and uh, currently I live in Jakarta, but maybe in uh, two days later, I will go back to Bandung to continue my study, and now I'm I'm an undergraduate student in Bandung Institute of Technology, Mining Engineering, and my, I don't know, I'm going to continue my study in MBA, also in ITB. In, in Indonesia? August. Yes, so in Indonesia, take... in IT. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but in a different major, maybe, yes. No, I'm in mean? mining engineering and I'm, yes, and I'm going to continue in uh, business, <laughs> basic oh, people. <laughs> I don't think in Indonesia you yeah. <laughs> can take postgraduate for different majors. Is it possible in yes. Indonesia? Uh, we can take it, but not. It's possible, but in a, uh, just a standard <laughs> test. It's only with the only book this TPA Bapenas yes <laughs> yeah all right okay so what is your target score is it 550 for postgraduate mm, the minimum standard is 550 but uh, my target is 600 maybe have you ever my taken personal target test? I mean I mean, have you ever taken a test? Uh, I see. So it's kind of difficult to measure. <laughs> yeah, 600 is quite really, it's really high. <laughs> uh, but okay. if Rayhan, you Rayhan, done this, uh, he could get 570. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think about your English skills? Because in TOEFL ITP, there, there will be listening, structure, and reading. Um, I think what's really difficult for me is listening. Mm -hmm. The harder is listening from the structure and reading. And then I also have a difficulty in structures because I don't really use the grammar in my daily conversation with my friends. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Structures is uh, a little bit more harder for me than the others. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. For most of the students, structure is the hardest part. All right, okay. Well, yeah, if you want to get 600, it means that uh, you can only make like maximum five numbers for each uh, part, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. That's because one of my students, uh, she she got five seven fifty seven for her listening, and she made like nine uh, nine incorrect answers for listening. Like yeah, we we need to. All right, <clears throat> okay. Now let's start our class. <clears throat> So today I'm going to give you a structure and a listening session. And let's see your skills. All right. <clears throat> okay, the first skill in structure that you, that you have to know is that in English sentence, it must have one subject and one book. Remember only one subject and one book. For example, like this. I work, I work at, uh, 
I work at a hospital. So I is the subject and work is the verb. So the structure in here is okay, subject and verb. Okay. So remember, that's the basic rule, one subject and one verb. Okay, if the sentence like work at the hospital, this is wrong. Why? Because there is only verb. There is no subject. If I say I at the hospital, this is also wrong. Why? Because there is no verb. There is only subject. Okay. Missing both subject and verb. If I just say at the hospital, okay, this is also wrong. Why? Because there is no subject and there is no verb. Okay, if I again say, my sister, she works at the hospital, okay, this is also wrong. Why? Because in here, there are two subjects. My sister is the subject. She also subject. Works, verb, yeah. So subject, subject, verb. This is wrong. If I also say my, uh, I am work at the hospital. Yeah. This is also wrong. Why? Because I subject am verb. Work also verb. So subject double verb is wrong. Got it, miss? So that's the first rule. Only one subject and one verb. That's the very basic. All right. Any questions? Not yet. All right. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, next. <clears throat> okay, what you need to pay attention on subject is you need to they tell me whether the subject is singular or plural because the verb will be different. Okay, so subject of a sentence is always noun. Remember, subject is always noun. It can be the person, it can be places, or it can be things. And then there are singular and plural, and the folk must agree with the subject. You can see here, the children are playing in the park. The little child is. We use are here because children is plural. We use is here because child is singular. So, oh, what is it? <clears throat> yeah. So look at this. The girl, okay. So this is singular, right? So we yeah. use word like is, was, okay, and then stays is with us. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> okay, is was and has and does for the foot. And then, but if it is the girls. Then we use verb like where, are, stay, have, and do. Can you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. So be careful with singular and plural because the verb will be different. Okay. So far is clear? Okay. Uh, clear. Okay. And remember the sequence, subject, verbs, and then verb. <clears throat> Okay, look at this sentence. What is missing here? Uh, there's no subject. There's no subject, right. So in here, we need subject. Okay. And subject is always noun, right? So yes. is yesterday a subject? Uh, cars. Is it cars? Uh, cars, yes. Cars, cars is a with was? Oh no, uh, oh no, traffic. Yes, traffic. So be careful, yeah, miss. 
Okay, remember there will be always a lecture in the answers. Okay, there will be two same correct answer, but there is only one, actually one. Okay, yesterday is no subject because it's time. In the morning time, so not the subject, so called traffic and cars was unit singular. So the answer is traffic. <clears throat> Clear? All right, what about this one? What is missing here? <clears throat> the verb. Okay, so what is the choice here? What is the answer? Are needed. Yeah, that's right. That's the only verb in the options, right? So the answer mm -hmm. is rough. Okay, so that's how you analyze it. Okay, find what is missing. Maybe verb, maybe subject, maybe part of subject, or um, maybe both of them. <clears throat> what about this one? <clears throat> mm, there's no verb. Mm -hmm. And the answer is the boy will be. Yes, that's right. We'll be going to. We cannot choose A because there is subject. B, there is also subject. C, we cannot, we cannot put in and in together. Okay? So it's relaxing going to. So we'll be going to the movies with a friend. Excellent. Three. <laughs> so this is what you need to remember. The basic rule is only one subject and one book. Okay, now miss, please. Okay, uh, indicate if the sentence is correct or incorrect, true or false. For example, let's discuss number one together. Last week, when fishing for trout at the nearby mountain lake. So this answer, uh, so this sentence is false. Why? Because there is no subject here, right? Mm. Last week is not a subject. So the sentence is False. Okay, now please answer number two to number five. <clears throat> I think a schedule of the day's event can be obtained. And I think the number two is correct. Uh, okay, is schedule is the sub subject is the schedule mm -hmm. and obtain is the verb. Okay, can be obtained. Can be obtained. Okay, okay, good. So the sentence is correct. What about number three? <clears throat> the night shift at the plane. <clears throat> uh, I think number three is also correct. What is the subject? A job. And what is the verb? Job on the day. On the day shift or the night shift. Oh, there's no verb. Yeah, there is no verb. Okay. What about number four? An encounter has provided a very difficult. So it's correct. Which one is the subject? The subject is uh, the new computer program and, and has profits uh yes provides has, has its prof verb provides is also verb so how many verb over there oh there are two verbs two verbs like oh. it will be different if he say has provided then it is one verb okay but it is asked here so it means that this is verb this is also verb <clears throat> uh uh, miss, if the uh, if the word is provided, then the sentence is correct. Correct. Right, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, yeah, Miss. Teliti. Oh. Satu huruf bisa menentukan nilai. <laughs> okay. Number five. The box. The box can be opened only with a special screwdriver. <clears throat> and oh, yeah, it's correct. That's right. 
subject, the book and is subject verb. can be open is for excellent you're good at analyzing miss just like your brother <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's a more advanced than me because he just read a lot, uh, read lots of English books. <laughs> yeah. Was... At the time she forgot, she because uh, sometimes we have two session in a day. Yes, is and he some uh, sometimes I say, oh, Miss, I'm so tired. <laughs> 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 All right, number six. <clears throat> This contains more than 20 chapters. The sign text for it. Find the subject verb and then find the verb. The sign text for historic class. It contains. Uh, I think it's correct. And the subject is the sign text. Mm -hmm. And the verb is it contains. Only contains. contains. So what about this one, Miss? Mm -hmm. It's a preposition. What is oh, that? It is a subject. Are you? They, right? Oh, yes. Are you daily? I, is she it? Yes, it is subject. It, yes, it's subject. So there's the two subjects. There are two oh. subjects. So the sentence is false. <clears throat> Okay, number seven. <clears throat> First in the last page, so the interpretation in the in the papers in the papers should be. Oh, it's correct. Good. Subject the papers. The papers and should be M P. Okay, number eight. <clears throat> First report done on the board. Oh, there's no verb. Part before number nine. Yesterday, for an interesting article on religion, uh, there's no subject. Yes, this right. Number ten. <clears throat> New is project is fifty percent more than the previous one. Mission is. This process is mm, uh, it's correct. The new vision is subject, processes is verb. What about is uh, is is if is, is verb? Yes. This is also oh verb. my god. All right. Is oh. process. Remember to be cannot be with verb one. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So number ten is incorrect because there are two verbs over there: is and processes. All right. Mm. Any questions? <clears throat> mm, I think I sometimes a little confusing when there's two verb. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Remember, Miss. Or no. Let me show you. So, if I say I sleep, how many verb? One verb. I am sleep. How many verb? Two. I and okay. am. I am sleeping. How many foot? For mm. oh, one foot? Yeah, because this is continuous tense, right? It's only, oh, right. It's only M is the verb. I'm sleeping. Okay, and then oh. this one. <clears throat> Okay, I was Mr. I was gave her money. How many folk over there? I was two. 
Was and was. verb Q. Okay, sorry. So remember to be, okay. <clears throat> Wait a second. This the end of the day. Okay, you will actually learn about it later on. To be, um, is, are, was, where, can be fully followed by verb in or verb three. Got it, miss? Okay, got it. Okay. It cannot be followed by verb one, like sleep, and verb two, like death. <clears throat> Only verb in and verb three. So when you find, okay, uh, to be with verb one or verb two, then is this wrong? All right. So the structure. Okay. Now let's move on to the listening. Are you ready? Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So listening, there are three parts, uh, part A and part B and part C. Part A, there will be 35 questions because there are 50 questions for listening. Structures, there are 40 questions for structure. And then, uh, yeah, what you will have today is listening for A. So it is a conversation between a man and a woman. And they will take turn in saying things. And after that, there will be uh, the conversation will be followed by a question. Okay. And then, yeah. Uh, the answer to this type of discussion is usually found on the last line or on the second speaker. So, okay, in the next practice, yeah, uh, please focus on the second speakers. But of course, it will be much better if you can listen also what the first speaker say. And then... <clears throat> Okay, when you get the answer, when you listen to the answer, find the synonym in the questions because the sentence will, the answer will be stated in different sentences, but the meaning is still the same. All right? <clears throat> All right. Okay, for example here, on the recording you hear, <clears throat> Billy really made a big mistake this time. Yes, he forgot to turn in his research paper. What does the woman say about Billy? Oh, she said he forgot to turn in his thesis paper, right? So mm -hmm. A, it was the first time he made a mistake? No, the meaning is different. No. He forgot to write his paper, not to write his paper, but to turn in his paper. He turned in the paper in the wrong place. Okay, they have this different meaning. He didn't remember to submit his assignment. Forgot means didn't remember. Turn in means submit. It says paper is assignment, so the answer is delta. Okay, they have the same meaning or similar meaning, right? Yes. All right. So remember, focus on the last line or on the second speaker. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Please answer number one until number three first, Miss. Don't tell me if today's. Today's matinee is a comedy romance and a western. I have no idea. He does not know. Yes, she that. doesn't know. It's cute. What about number two? Was anyone has not had props on the window to look at by? I rang the bell, but no one had this book. The house was probably empty. That's right. What about number three? You just got back from the interview for, for the interview. Oh, how do you think it went? I think it's highly unlikely that I got you. See, the interview was apparently quite unsuccessful. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now let's listen. Try to answer number one to number ten. Okay, Miss, I give you a chance to read the question first, to read the uh, the options first from number one to number 10. Okay. Okay. 
Are you ready? Uh, not yet. Wait. <laughs> so the phone was. Is a great kind of person. She will be good. She will be good. She has been seen. Yeah, there was only. Let's put it back. Let's put it back. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. Let's start. <clears throat> TOEFL exercise one. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should focus carefully on the second line. Number one. How soon will you be leaving? I'm on my way now. What does the man mean? Number two. Was Steve able to get into the house? I left the door unlocked for him. What does the woman assume Steve did? Number three. The dinner special is roast turkey with mashed potatoes and gravy and apple pie for dessert. That doesn't sound good to me. What does the woman mean? Number four. Could you help me with my physics homework tonight? I'm really having trouble with it. Sorry, I'm busy tonight. What does the man imply? Number five. What did you think of Professor Martin's lecture on the migratory habits of whales? I couldn't keep my eyes open. What does the woman mean? Number six. Have this month's bills been paid or is that something we need to take care of now? I paid the phone and electricity, but not the credit cards. What does the man mean? Number seven. Will you be able to get back from running all your errands by four o'clock? I'll be back as quickly as I can. What does the woman say that she'll do? Number eight. Have you seen Tim? I really need to talk with him about the phone bill. Well, he was here just a minute ago. What does the woman say about Tim? <clears throat> Number nine. There's a car parked in my spot even though the sign says that this space is reserved. I guess we'll have to park somewhere else. What does the woman mean? Number 10. Do we have enough food for all the guests who are attending the reception this evening? The refrigerator's about to burst. What does the man mean? <clears throat> All right. Let's see. <clears throat> so what is your answer for number one? Uh, A. Yes, I'm on my way now. Number two. <clears throat> um, 
I do not clear it clearly, but uh, my answer is A. No, it's A. I left the door unlocked for him. It means that he will be able to open the door. He was able to open the door. No, he locked the oh. door. Okay. The woman say, I left the door unlocked for him. So Steve will be able to open the door. Hmm. Okay, number three. Number three. Uh, Delta. Yeah, that's right. Number four. Bravo. Good. Number five. Charlie. Uh, yeah, the I've... class was boring. I couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't keep my eyes open. Number six. A. Good. Number seven. Seven Delta. Good. Number eight. Charlie. A. Good. Yes. Number nine. Delta. Good. Great. Number ten. A. Excellent. Well, Miss, you had an excellent listening skill. Okay, you have. <laughs> I, I think you have a chance to get six six hundred. Your skill oh, is okay. yeah. It's, your skill is as good as uh, Rayhan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, uh, Rayhan, what Rayhan was good. It's just that we 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 had very limited time to study at the time. Karena waktu itu dia ngambil kelasnya pas mepet banget sih udah mau ujian. Itu juga baru tahu, Miss. Oh, ya? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oke. Okay. Alright, Miss. Any questions? Uh, maybe my question is when we will start the class, Miss? Okay. It depends on the admin, uh, Miss, because I will give them the report first and then they will uh, give me a point more later. So to start oh. our class. I hope that we oh. can start it and next Wednesday. Okay. Okay. All right, Miss. Any more questions? Uh, not yet. All right. For now.